Guys, Elixir Golem Barb Hut. <sighs> what am I doing with my life at this point? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Mars back with another Clash Royale video. And, guys, in today's video, I have become what I swore to destroy. I have literally never played Elixir Golem decks in Clash Royale before. But today is the day, guys. I apologize in advance for playing this deck. I honestly hope that I lose every game playing this deck. But guys, let's hop into some games right now. And as we hop into this first game, guys, just want to remind you to smash that like button and click the little fireball in the corner to subscribe to the channel. Doing those little things takes like one or two seconds, but it benefits my channel tremendously, and I really appreciate it. And guys, here we are against Infernal. And starting off here, I do have the Barb Hut. And with him going in for Skeleton Dragons, I'm actually just going to go Baby Dragon, though. So I'm thinking... With him having skeleton dragons, okay, um, I guess, whoa, this is not, this is not what I thought he was gonna do, uh, I thought he was just gonna maybe have, like, an RG deck and play it slow, but Infernal here is playing very aggressive, he went skeleton dragons and then Skarmy, heal spirit, and bar barrel, so we're just gonna go with our heal spirit back here and then go with our healer, and actually, I'm gonna go with the barb hut up here to, uh, pull the balloon, and we will get that going get those barbs in there and yeah hopefully the balloon okay great didn't get a hit right there so he's got a balloon deck we know that now infernal is playing very crazy here and guys i honestly feel like once we get to um double elixir we're gonna be pretty well off here but he's gonna get some damage here with the fisherman and the skeleton dragons and Ooh, i maybe could have gone in right there guys but it's still single elixir, and I feel like technically you're not really supposed to go in with the elixir golem until double elixir. So we're going to wait here, see if he wants to maybe go in for a balloon, but we're just going to tornado this back right here and then go in for our battle healer. He will get that heal spirit on the musketeer, but that doesn't really matter to me because the healer is going to heal herself up anyway. And then he's going to go in for a fisherman, and we can always go in for our barb hut or our e-drag um, if he wants to go in for a balloon. So, it looks like he's not going to go in... Oh, here, he is going to go in for the balloon. We'll wait for that fisherman to go to the tower and then get the um, barb hut in there. He's also going to snowball right there, guys. I don't think that was a good play. We can go elixir golem here and with our e-drag. He is going to take out that tower right there. Um, but we do have a huge push coming in here, guys, with the um, baby dragon, electro dragon, and healer here and we can go in for our heal spirit another elixir golem maybe and maybe even tornado anything that he wants to do in right there yeah we're gonna get rid of that musketeer get the heal on our baby dragon and get rid of those skeleton dragons and guys this is where elixir golem is so dangerous we can go in with another baby dragon here on the left and um maybe even get a push going here on the right because i think we might take out his tower on the left and yeah, we do take out that tower on the left. And now look at this other push we have on the right, guys. He has this uh, balloon coming in. But we have the E-Drag there still playing some defense. And I think if we tornado this balloon away... Wow, guys, I actually even missed the tornado. If I win this game, that just shows you how busted Elixir Golem is. Because I feel like I didn't even play that well this game. We're just going to go in here with another Elixir Golem battle healer with our two dragons. And get another dragon up. And then maybe we can even tornado everything in once again. Guys, look at this. This is just absolutely sad how many mistakes I made in this game. And we still walk away with an easy 2-1 win. Alright guys, hopping into our second game here. And you saw in that first game why I hate Elixir Golem so much. Because that guy was a balloon player and I didn't even play good defense against his balloon. I literally let him take my tower with the balloon. At the end, I tried to tornado it away from the king tower and I missed. But... We're just going to go for our heal spirit right there. He has a dark goblin, or uh, Renato here has a dark goblin. We're just going to go for our barb hut here because it's clearly some sort of log bait deck. And um, we're not going to really be punished too hard for that. He is going to quickly fireball there. So I don't know if that fireball was really the best play on his part. I feel like I could maybe go in for an elixir golem in the back here and build up a pretty big push because I have plenty of elixir for defense. Um, he's gonna have a barb hut as well though so that's very interesting that is not what I thought this dude was gonna have um, but here we go we have our elixir golem 
And guys, honestly, you know what? With Elixir Golem, this is pretty much what you're supposed to do. We're going to go in. His archers died right there, so I feel pretty good about this. He's got the recruits, but we do have the healer, and uh, we could maybe tornado the Dark Goblin in to everything here. Uh, try, try to make sure we get rid of that Dark Goblin. And it looks like we're not really going to get too much accomplished there. Oh wait, actually we still have the E-Drag and Baby Dragon still alive getting damage. And yeah, those are going to get some pretty good damage there. The E-Drag taking out those Spear Gobs and taking this guy down to 1094, and that was just in single Elixir. No, that's a lot of damage! I feel like he's definitely down Elixir right now, so we're going to go with our Barb Hut once again. Guys, Elixir Golem Barb Hut. <sighs> what am I doing with my life at this point? Um, he went with a Barb Hut too, so we're just going to let these Barb Huts kind of cancel for now. But, yeah, I'm definitely... If he's going to keep going same lane as me, I'm definitely just going to keep going um, on the left side here. That Dark Goblin isn't going to be able to get too much done. He's going to fireball that. I really don't think that was a good play because we can just stack up our troops here, guys. And if I cycle back to another Elixir Golem, there we go, guys. We got the double Elixir Golem domination here. Let's get another healer down, too. Anything he puts into this is just going to get evaporated. And we can tornado the Dark Goblin and the Archers right into the middle. Guys, look how overpowered that is. Look at this push we have. And at this point... Anything he does on the right, okay, I'm actually going to go for a bar barrel here just to get rid of that goblin gang, but pretty much anything he does on the right just doesn't matter because we are coming in for the three crown at this point, guys. This is just sad to watch at this point. Another tornado on that dark gob and an easy three crown, even though I feel like I didn't even do that much in that game. All right, guys, hopping into our third and final game here against 14-13. And hopefully this will be the final game. I'll probably um, end the video if I take the dub here. Um, he's going to go with a wizard in the back. So I'm just going to go with my battle healer here. So wizard could mean anything, honestly. It could mean like hog or... Surprise, motherfucker. Or golem. Or he's just going to go in for a golem to start the game. So we'll go in for our, ba our bar barrel here. Because if we can kill this wizard... We're going to be much better off and taking out this golem. And yeah, the healer's going to stay alive right there. And if we can actually get um, an E-Drag down to keep our healer alive. Yeah, we're going to want to keep the healer alive, guys. Wow, he's going to go in for a firecracker as well. Um, I maybe could have tornadoed right there to kill the E-Drag and the firecracker. But I'm not going to be too over aggressive here, even though this guy went with golem to start the game. We're going to try to get King Tower activated here. We'll see if we can. Actually, he's going to give us the Goblin Barrel anyway. Um, but either way, we could have gotten it with the Firecracker or the Goblin Barrel. So we're going up against Golem Goblin Barrel. And I think we're easily going to be able to take the dub in this game, guys. We're just going to go in for our Barb Hut here. And yeah, another Wizard is going to come down. So we'll see if he wants to go Golem straight into a Barb Hut again, even though it didn't work whatsoever the first time. So yeah, he's going to go Golem except he actually went opposite lane of the Barb Hut. And I'm thinking like, man, did this dude just did this? Even though I'm pretty sure the Barb Hut is still gonna pull it. So let's just go in for our battle healer right here to tank for the wizard and get rid of that wizard right there. And then, ooh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to go E-Drag here to make sure we cancel out that um, Inferno Dragon, but he's also gonna go in for an E-Wiz there and we'll make sure we kill that E-Wiz with the Barb Barrel. And guys, look at the Elixir Golem on his left-hand tower. That's pretty much going to be a dead tower right there. And on the right, he has to deal with the healer and the barbarians as well. So we are going to easily take that left side out. And guys, you know what Elixir Golem is all about. We're going to go in for the three crown here. Going to try to get the Elixir Golem down. Go in for our baby dragon and our um, Electro Dragon as well. Then we'll go in for our... Heal Spirit, ignoring everything else that he wants to do. Going for another healer and another E-Golem, hopefully. And yeah, we are able to keep that Electro Dragon alive and start getting some heal right there. So we're going full out for the three ground here, guys. No holds bar. And look at the left side. He just went in for a Golem on the right. I don't know why you would ever do that when your King Tower is getting ravaged by an Elixir Golem push. Tornado here should be able to finish it off, and there we go, guys. We're probably going to end the video there. I never want to play this deck again because you can easily three-crown people with no skill. So there we go, guys. That's going to wrap it up for today's battles. 
I finally got around to playing Elixir Golem Battle Healer for the first time ever. That is actually the first time I've ever used this deck, and I was still able to get some easy wins. That just shows you how busted this is. I really think they should remove Elixir Golem from the game. I also think they could remove Battle Healer from the game because it's pretty much dependent on Elixir Golem to be viable. And then the Skeleton Barrel is a whole other issue. I, you know, I'm honestly fine with that. There's enough small spells in the game for that to be fine, but... I really think this card should be removed from the game, guys. I just got three easy wins, two of which were three crowns, and I felt like I was barely even trying. But anyways, guys, if you're still watching at this point, make sure to drop a like on today's video and click the little fireball in the corner to subscribe to the channel. Once again, doing those little things takes like one or two seconds, but it benefits my channel tremendously, and I really appreciate it. But anyways, guys, if you're still watching at this point, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in a couple days with another Clash Royale video.